Okay, so we have a differential equation, dy dx equals the secant squared of y over 1 plus x squared. Let's try to work this out. Solution. So it appears that maybe we can separate the variables. In other words, we can get all of the x's on one side and all of the y's on one side. So to do that, we'll divide both sides by secant squared and multiply both sides by dx. So let's see. We have dy and we're dividing by secant squared, so we have dy over secant squared y equals, and now we're going to multiply by dx, so we have 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. So again, the only thing we did was divide both sides by this, and then we multiplied by dx. All right, so now we can integrate both sides of this because we've reached our goal, right? We have all the stuff with y dy equal to some stuff with x dx. 1 over secant is cosine, so it's a good idea maybe to rewrite this as cosine squared y dy. And I'll leave this as is. This is 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. So to integrate the left-hand side, we have to use a popular trig identity. We can write cosine squared as 1 plus cosine 2y over 2 dy. So that's a very, very, very useful trig identity. It is totally worth knowing. So if you have cosine squared of x, that's equal to 1 plus cosine 2x, all divided by 2. So the way I memorize it is cosine has the plus and then sine squared of x. It's exactly the same, except it has the minus. So sine has the minus. So cosine has the plus, and then that way you know that sine has the minus. On the right-hand side, we still have this, 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. We could have integrated this, but I want to do everything all at once. Let's break this up. This is 1 over 2, and you can pull out the 1 half. So it's 1 half dy, right? That's 1 over 2. And you can write this as plus 1 half integral cosine 2y dy. So I skipped some steps there. Basically, the steps skipped with the following. So it's 1 over 2 plus cosine of 2y over 2. Then you can write this as 1 half plus 1 half cosine of 2y. And then we just pulled out the 1 halves from the integrals, from the integration, right? You can pull out constants from integrals. And over here, we have the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared. Okay, now let's go ahead and integrate everything. So to integrate 1, um, we just get y, right? What's a function whose derivative is 1? Well, y. So this is 1 half y. When you integrate cosine of 2y, you just have to ask yourself, what's a function whose derivative is cosine? Well, sine is going to be plus 1 half. And the trick is you just divide by 2. So it's sine 2y over 2, OK? You can, you can always do that, right? Like if you have, say you have cosine of 3x dx, you just ask yourself, what's a function whose derivative is cosine? Well, sine. So you just write down sine 3x, and then you divide by 3 and you add the constant. The reason you can do that is because you can just make a u substitution, right? Like if you wanted to, you could let u equal 3x, so du is 3dx, and then you make this look like what's in your integrand. So you divide both sides by 3, so du over 3 equals dx, and then you can just rewrite this, right? Pull out the 1 third, and you get cosine of u du, and then from this you get sine u, and then you replace u with 3x. So, um, this is trivial, so generally whenever you have a number, you just divide by it and integrate the trig function. This is going to be arctangent. In case you've forgotten the formula, I'll refresh your memory. So dx of over a squared plus x squared, this is equal to 1 over a arctangent of x over a plus an arbitrary constant. So in this problem here, a is 1, so it's just 1 over 1, which is 1, so we don't write it. Then we get arctan of x over 1, so just arctan of x. And then we have the plus and the c. So that's it. We've solved our separable uh, differential equation. I hope this video has been helpful.